Hello everyone, my name is Robert Rewind, and welcome back to the game of Parts of Iron 4. Let me just move around my mic a little bit. Yeah, welcome back. So, I tried to record the second episode already, but the game crashed on me and, well, bad things happen. So, that is that. But we are back. Bigger, faster, what is it? Bigger, faster, stronger, whatever. Something like that. Anyways... We are here as Guatemala. We will be trying to go fascist. At least that's the plan. And we'll see how that goes. Right. We are doing industrial effort. See, I just gotta remember what I just gotta remember what we did last time. Or I did last time. Because Yeah. When the game crashed, it didn't because I don't have autosave on. Because it makes it slow down the game, slows it down. So I just don't have it on, and I probably should, but that's okay because I'm not gonna. We just gotta redo what I did last time. Right, so we have our fascist supporter there. Free trade. We need to change you to this one, right? No, this one. Yeah, okay. So one of the things we did was change early mobilization. So we'll do that. Okay. So it is the year, it is the year 1936. Nothing's really kicked off yet. Um, the Spanish Civil War has been going on. So I'm just trying to remember what happened. And where we are. Yeah, the, Sp the Spanish Civil War between Nationalist Spain and Republican Spain is already going. Demilitarized zone. Oh, that's why it's flashing red. Okay, we got support weapons one. We are still researching synthetic oil experiments. So in the meantime, we can go back over here. This one. Because we're going to try to get this one, Concentrated in Industry. I do got a comment that this is kind of pretty cool. This part here, Disperse Industry, the two um, icons here, it shows it's underground. So I, I, think that, I think that's really cool. Right. So the reason we're going to go down this one, uh, Concentrated Industry, is because it gives us a fact max factory output. And it, eventually the last one gives us an extra 20, so that's 20 on 20, so that's already 40, 60, 80, basically 100% factory speed there. British Parliament debates intervention at, in the Benelux. We have learned from the Great War the British will not underestimate this, the strategic value of the Benelux region and potential risk of seeing enemy countries to build influence there. The British Parliament has debated the possibility of military intervention. With meanwhile, political implications such uh, such action weighed heavily on Neville Chamberlain, 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 Chamberlain. Um, several decisive arguments were delivered before it was decided, and the rest of the debate should be conducted in closed chambers. Such interventions would ir irrevocably change the polit political landscape of the Western of Western Europe. Right. Congest industrial effort two. Or one. Construction effort, that is. So because of that, we actually end up gaining a civilian factory. Do we? I don't remember. Okay. So when will our No, not you. We gotta switch you out. Infantry equipment. Start upgrading stuff. That's that's one thing I forgot to do. Uh, not you. Construction. There it is. Construction. How long would it take you to build this? March. Yeah. We gotta get rid of that. Well, let's take a look at the factions map mode. You see the allies is Britain, basically. Or England. The UK. The Axis is there. Common turn right there and the rest of the world is pretty much non-allied 
you know, one, one thing, a little mod I would like to that, a little mod that I would like to come out would be one where it breaks up ev the entire world into just provinces. Or you can have the option to break the world up into provinces or, you know, or states or something like that. Because I remember um, CK2 has a mod like that. And it's called the Shattered World mod. And I usually like, whenever I play it, I like to break the entire world up just into little counties. So right here, Honduras would have three counties. El Salvador would have two. And we would have one, two, three, four. We have four. And I don't know. It just seems kind of interesting. Although, I'm saying, why not? That's what the modding community usually does. Or once, really. Okay. Uh, we still... Eh, we still have some time to change that. Logistics. How are we doing? We do need steel. Where in the world is there steel? There's going to be a whole bunch of chromium we're going into. There's some steel here in Cuba. Is there anywhere else? There's some steel there. Ooh. Right here. And Chile. Uruguay. They have aluminum. Where else? Is there any small... No. Okay. Right, so now let's go over here and change our government. Civilian economy. Ethiopia was annexed. All oh, right, All right, that's right. I don't have fascism yet. Well, what are we at? 28. 21. Huh. Guess we could go for... Um, yeah, no, that will lower, that will lower our, our stuff. No, don't care about those. Artillery designer, no. Electronics, industrial, no. Anything good. That one would be good with that one. Military theories, no. Huh. I could go for that, but not really feeling it. Light aircraft, no. I'm trying to think, what are we gonna to try to go as? We will probably we will need a navy because we'll be fighting on this side of the world, and eventually we'll we'll try to expand outward. So that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, navy. Okay, navy designer. And that gives us minus ten percent research time, which isn't bad. Could always be better. We have 38, almost 40k in manpower. Uh, not production. This one. Yeah, make me infinite. And then right now, the upgrades 11 out of 299. Hmm. We're gonna need to. We need to do, do some more stuff. Let's take a look at the resource map mode again. Yeah, you have some good stuff. Chromium. The fascist assault divisions form. The political and martial have always been intertwined in fascism. In the parallel to its growing, growing political movement, the fascist parties have begun forming priority organizations to protect against both internal and external threats. These internal threats being their political opponents, although many people of this development worrying that the wave of military to fewer has led to an increasing amount of volunteers join our armed forces the political leaders of the movement have pointed i'll get to that right now uh have pointed out reasons for their to be afraid having the army permeated on several different levels by explicitly political elements the enemies of Guatemala and the enemies of fascists are beginning to look very much alike. Only traitors to the country will have anything to fear. So we get five extra percent change in pop in popularity and fascism. We hit our national unity by five by five percent, which is bad. And we get an extra workable population and more daily fascist support. Retail remilitarization of the Rhineland. Germany has stationed troops along the Rhineland territory close to the French border in clear violation in the Treaty of Versailles. The local population cheered the German soldiers on, 
while the diplomatic reactions from from France and Britain have so far have been muted. Tit, it is no more than Germany walking into their own backyard, a political commenter in Britain observed. So that's worrying, apparently. Right, so how are they doing? Okay, good. We can now do this. We're going to need more construction effort. More civilian factories. Right, so where were we looking at? Uh, they have either six to nine mil ground forces. Two military factories, no, none of that, none of that. They have four civilian factories. They have a lot of convoys, a lot more than us. Empty conscription and civilian economy once again. Okay. Because you might be our target. Right, okay, let's go back over here. How goes this? 37, non-aligned. We're still more than non-aligned. Or a little bit less than non-aligned. Fascist is growing, though. Ever so slowly. Daily change, 0.8 in total. How goes our construction? Does our construction... Um, is it better now? 1940. Still... How many do we have? Yeah, we have an extra. We have an extra one now. Huh. We still need steel. Although there's no way to get steel. Right. So let's take a look at what Germany's been doing. They re remilitarized this area. Wow, 54 steel. Yeah, there's a lot of materials, minerals over here. Yeah. The UK has a lot as well. Greece has loads of things there. No oil though. What about the Soviet Union? Yeah, you you got you got some you actually got a lot right there. You actually have a lot of resources, but that's because you're really big. Japan has some stuff here. China not so much. The bit the British Raj, yeah. A lot of rubber down here. In Indonesia. Australia has some things. Basic machine tools. New Zealand has what is that? Tungsten. Okay. And we don't have that much stuff. <laughs> right, so now this one, concentrate industry. Yes, begin begin making everything so much faster. Okay, so does that buff this? Nope, still doesn't. Huh. What about uh, production? Or there it is. We're not making that much. We are going really slow. What about the United States? I didn't check a look at the resources of the United States. The United States has a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Canada. Huh, how much stuff in Alaska? Canada has some things, it has some oil there, some aluminum, steel, aluminum, aluminum, they have, they have a, a good number of aluminum. Okay, we could change our government once again. Fascist. Okay, well, let's wait a little bit so we could change this to early mobilization. 
Yeah, just wait. Just wait a little bit to do that. What is this? Where do you belong? To the French comma turn? Oh, no, you, you... Okay. Oh, that's Puerto Rico. Duh. And this is the UK. Yeah. I still have my eye on you guy over here because we get the steel that we need and the oil. But I don't think we could do that yet. Uh, okay, over here. Once again, construction effort. Oh, there you go. The ruling party is fascist. Why could I not? It's 41.62 people or popularity. Come on, early mobilization. Early mobilization. Come on. Come on. Okay. All right. So because of that, of our what they called national focuses, we keep getting extra civilian factories, which is really good. Yeah, now it drops down to 8 to 1938. Good, now we got some synthetic oil experiments. Can't put any of those there. Uh, over here. All right, so what else are we going to do? This one. Make everything faster. Bigger, faster, and stronger. Okay, what can we do over here? Still zero, so we can't trade trade for anything. We do have six army experience, though. What can I do with that? Can I perhaps change this? Uh, no. I could add this. Okay. Not that good. Okay, which one's better? Breakthrough plus six, soft attack 37. Okay, this one's actually gonna be better. But then we'll be missing artillery, so we can't do that. Yeah. Hmm. As it is, we can't build anything yet, so. So that's that. Oops. Come on, there's 42. Why not? Well, the world's almost about to hit 5% tension for that. Since I'm... What am I? Democratic? D P L P, The ruling party? The progressive literal party. Yeah, democratic. Let's see, let me try clicking over here. Nope. Come on. Show me the money. Come on, there's no... Now we have more. By four. Oh well. This is one of the problems about picking one of the smaller nations that don't have anything to do or that's not fascist. Ooh. Starts off kind of slow. Okay, what about supply? What is this? We're actually over. Good, concentrate industry. Make everything so much faster now. I'm going to go with that again as well. Right there. Just make everything faster. Just just faster. As fast as you can make it. Okay, what time? When will this be done now? Bumped it up by a little bit. Civilian economy is hurting us. It's slowing it down. So. 
I would change it, but I really can't. We took a look at the resource, we took a look at that. There's no resistance. This is the this is the naval strategic naval navy map mode. What is this? North South America? That that's a little bit um contradiction, if you will. North South Northern South America. I guess. Okay, so the the navy sea tiles, naval sea tiles, and the air tiles are the same thing, except just one's in the air and the other one is sea level, ground level. Yeah. Come on, fascist! Now you definitely got more. A few more days. And then we could increase. Oh wait, this is infrastructure. I don't want infrastructure. I mean, it's good and all, but I'd rather not. Oh wait, there is something here. The Hindenburg incident. Disaster was narrowly averted today when a diesel fuel leak was discovered on a German passenger airship Hindenburg as it came into dock at Lake Hurst Naval Air Station in the United States. The leak was promptly repaired. Had it gone unnoticed, flammable vapor could have resulted in a fire that would have engulfed the entire airship. Critics have now questioned have have now long questioned the wisdom of passenger airships given their spotty safety records, and this incident is bound to make them even more vocal. Um, if you guys don't know, the Hindenburg actually exploded in real history, so that's that that didn't happen. It exploded. The more you know. Okay, well, three more days. Um, four, four, and four. I'm looking at the infrastructure, by the way. Excellent. Next, we're going to go down. I could do this one, but I actually could do that one. But I'm gonna go for this one, construction effort three. It gives us two building slots and adds two civilian factories. Where is this? You're supposed to add two civilian factories. Still none aligned. Oh man, I want to change it. I want to change our, what is it? Economy. Now, I guess I could do one of these here. This one for sure is one of them. Those would take a decision. Naval experience, that could be one. The old guard. No. Hey, you're not that bad. Because you, what, what you do? You gave me 10% division attack, which is good. And then you're pretty good. But not that good. Entrenchment. Entrenchment three plus eight. Strategic bombing. Okay. Hey, that's not bad. But I really want to change this. It's taking forever to do it. Right, I never checked out the infrastructure. What is it now? Six. Wow, that boosted up by two. Mule construction effort still going nicely. 
nothing's really going on in the world right now, so... Well, there is 5%. Um, because it's 5%, I could change this to this. Yeah. I totally missed that. So now this is now June of the 26th. So this one should hopefully be almost done soon. So I have negative 10% to, to the modifier, but that's okay. It's a whole lot better than having a, what was it? 30? Yeah, so this one should be done fast. At least that's the plan. What is it now? 39? Hmm. <laughs> It is of this year, right? No, next year. Okay, that's what I that's what I didn't see. So take it forever. Civil War for Fascism. While attempts to the fascist movement to revitalize revitalize the people's pride in their nations have seen some success, the resistance against these ideals remains high. The generals plotting to overthrow the current administration are disappointed in the lack of confidence in the Guatemalan population. Themselves seen Guatemalan superiority seem to have an illegal. Yeah, they re they remain certain that the people will eventually tire of George Upa's lies, but are now divided what course of action to take. Some call for a coup to be executed now before Guatemalan's enemies takes advantage of its weakness. However, doing so while the public support is limited will plunge the nation into a civil war. Greatness can scarcely be achieved without spilling blood, but the blood of our own countrymen, even traitors to the cause, is precious. Do it. Civil War right now. Start something. I should have read that a little bit better. Hey. Now we're fascism. <laughs> we are fascists now, right? Yeah, there it is. Cool. Awesome, now we can start playing around with stuff. But unfortunately... We still only have one unit. So. Still can't do as much as I would want to do. Now we can declare war or start justifying war goals. Let's actually see. Oh, we're not fascist yet. We're almost fascist. Okay. We now got the reign of terror, which gives us 10% political power. Having come, having recently come to power, the current regime is ruthless in pursuit of its enemies, shutting down the opposition before it arises. Good. Has anything else changed? Not much. We could get we could get a tank designer, but I don't know how that would do. Maybe we should. I'm gonna get probably some small arms and see how that goes. Um, where's that at? Oh, right here, right here. Amelia Earhart disappears. The famous aviator Amelia Earhart, the first woman to complete a solo flight across the Atlantic, has disappeared along with her navigator, Fred Nugan, near Hollywood Island in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. The two were attempting to fly around the entire world in their twin-engine twin engine Lockhead Electra plane when they vanished. A search for the missing aviators is now being conducted by the U.S. Navy, Coast, Navy and Coast Guard, but there's little hope of finding them. A loss for aviation. I actually don't know. Did she make it around the world? No, she disappeared. Yeah. I don't remember. I'm about to check that up. I'm about to look, look that up and see what really happened. Because I'm not very sure. I'm, I'm going to say that she did disappear. Did she? I really can't remember. Huh. But I'm going to stick with she did disappear. I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to stick with it and stay with it. But for now, thank you all for watching. My name is Robert Rewinds. If you've enjoyed this video, all you got to do is just comment. You know, like, subscribe. Those simple things there. Uh, I know it's been a little bit slower this episode because there's not much going on. Maybe next episode there will be. But for now, that is it for... That's it. So yeah, thank you all for watching. My name is Robert Rewind. Don't forget to rewind. And once again, thanks for watching.